hello everyone welcome back this is Raj so in this video we're going to learn how to calculate sample size using R so this is R studio okay um, so in the previous videos I've already talked about the R studio so now uh, let us start how to calculate the sample size so in research um, sample size calculation is um, very uh, commonly used um, method um, so calculating the appropriate sample size is necessary uh, when we move forward with the data collection and then retrieving the data and then analyzing the data so let's move forward with the process so calculation of sample size can be done by two different techniques one is without installing any packages and another is by installing a package so uh, let us first try with the basic uh, R features without installing any package so that is um, let us um, first try uh, for two different examples one the first example will be comparing mean between two different groups so it's uh, comparing means between two two different groups okay so the formula will be uh, or the command will be p o w e r power dot t dot test okay then you have to specify uh, delta and standard deviation and the power so delta is the um, difference of mean okay so let's assume delta, delta equals 0 0.2 and then give comma and then standard deviation is indicated by sd let's assume sd of 0 0.5 and then power out of 1 so let's assume a uh, power of 80 percent that is 0 0.8 okay so when we hit enter it will generate the output to sample t-test power calculation the sample size will be 99 in each group so when you're comparing two different groups then sample size of one group will be 99 and another group will be 99 making a total of 198 sample size so the level of significance is the alpha value is 0 0.05 power 80 percent and two-sided okay so similarly when you want to um, compare two proportions let's say we want to compare two proportions so uh, the formula for calculating um, the sample size when we compare two proportion is P-O-W-E-R power dot P-R-O-P prop dot test so in the previous example we did power dot T dot test here we do power dot prop dot test okay so since it is the comparison of proportion uh, we have to give P1 and P2 that is first proportion and second proportion so let's um, put P1 equals any value let's say 0 0.6 that is 60% proportion and then P2 equals 0 0.5 that is 50% proportion and then power equals 0 0.8 and now when you uh, hit enter then the two sample comparison of proportion power calculation is uh, total sample size 387 and then uh, P1 equals 0 0.6 P2 equals 0 0.5 which were the numbers that we had entered with the alpha value of 0 0.05 and the power of 80 percent so two-sided uh, um, test is used here by default and the n is the number of uh, sample size or the number of respondents in each group okay so this is uh, how we do the sample size estimation uh, without installing any package but when we install the package then you will have more options okay there, there will be plenty of features in sample size calculation because in modern research there are different ways of uh, calculating the sample size depending on the type of research depending on the study design so that will be um, necessary installing the package will be necessary when you want to do the complex kind of uh, calculations okay so let's try a few examples by installing the package so let's install 
install pwr package for sample size calculation so pwr is the package um, which is used for estimating the sample size okay so now let's install the package first so in my computer I have already installed the package so I will just uh, write um, the command on how to install the pwr package so the command is install dot packages and then pwr and hit enter okay so you have to give a double inverted comma uh, to install the package I have already talked in previous videos on how to install the package in R so when you hit enter it will install the package but I have already installed um, so it will take some time so depending on your internet connection because these packages need to be installed from the online repository so it is installed from the CRAN repository and it will be installed in one of the folders of your computer so the package has been installed and they have been downloaded and installed now what you have to do is you have to uh, load the library okay you have to load the pwr library before uh, running the command so library library and then give the brackets and then pwr so this is the package that we installed so when you um, load the library now you can um, give different commands you can type the commands uh, for calculating the sample size okay so now uh, let us calculate the sample size for let's say test of one mean that is one sample t test so when i uh, when i create when i um, wrote here library pwr now i have to specify um, delta and i have to specify sigma okay and i have to um, specify the power uh, and i have to specify the type whether it's one sample or two sample so let us try okay so le uh, let's assume delta equals um, let's say um, how much how much could be delta 10 okay. so this delta means the difference of uh, mean okay and then uh, let's assume the sigma of um, 20 and then r equals or the ratio equals delta by sigma delta divided by sigma so this will be 10 by 20 okay now you give the uh, command for calculation of sample size that is pwr dot t dot test so pwr so we, we initially without installing the packages we we, we use the command p-o-w-e-r but now when we install the package we can simply type pwr okay pwr dot t dot test this is the um, formula for calculation of sample size uh, using the t test okay now give the bracket now you have to uh, define the um, effect size effect size is the ratio of delta and sigma so it's delta by sigma okay so d equals 10 by 20 or you can simply write d equals r okay because you have already specified uh, r as the ratio of uh, delta and sigma or you can simply write d equals 10 by 20 it's the same thing okay give comma and then now you have to specify the level of significance so yes ig dot level equals 0 0.05 so that is the level of significance and power equals let's assume the power to be 0 0.9 okay you can alter it based on your objective so my aim is to achieve the power of 90 percent so i wrote here power equals to 0 0.9 and then type equals so i can specify whether the um this statistics is for one sample t test or uh, two sample t test so it's type is one sample so type one dot sample so this means um, i'm using the formula for one sample t test okay 
so when I specify the power now it will generate the sample size okay when I hit enter it will give one sample t test power calculation and the uh, sample size will be 44 so 43.99 is almost 44 um, with the effect size of 0 0.5 and the significance level of 0 0.05 and power of 0 0.9 so here uh, d equals to r because r is the ratio of delta and sigma so if you read in theory um, you can easily understand why I wrote this command okay so uh, you can refer to different textbooks on um, the concept of sample size calculation so here I only uh, talked about how to compute it using R stereo but also you might have understood that uh, how I calculated the R um, and uh, what does this mean and also the level of significance the power and the um, type of test, test statistic okay so now uh, let's compare um, so the, let's calculate the sample size for another condition that is test of two means okay so to calculate the sample size for test of two means so we simply uh, um, we simply change the type okay so when we change the type then uh, we'll be able to uh, cal calculate the sample size for uh, comparing the mean between two independent samples so first of all you have to load the library but I have already uh, loaded the library here so I, I don't need to load it again so let's specify again delta equals 10 okay so here you can see in the environment the value of delta r and sigma but again if you want to alter this you can type it again so delta equals to 10 sigma equals 20 and then r equals delta by sigma okay so pwr dot d test and then d equals so here d equals r or you can simply write d equals 10 by 20 so when you keep on playing with these commands you will be more confident and then you can alter these commands as per your objective so d equals uh, 10 by 20 and then seek dot level because for example you want to alter the level of significance let's say 0 0.1 okay let's alter the power power equals let's say 0 0.8 okay type equals um, 2 dot sample and then hit enter so when you are using mac hit return command and when you are using windows uh, hit the enter button okay so now you can see the output the sample size in each group will be 50 with the effect size of 0 0.5 and the level of uh, significance 10 percent so 0 0.1 is 10 percent and the power of 80 percent and uh, uh, two-sided uh, hypothesis okay so two-sided test for a comparison of mean of two independent uh, groups so now when you want to um, compare let's say more than two means then you can use um, uh, you can use ANOVA okay so so there are several uh, there are several examples uh, in the tutorial uh, in the um, package tutorial so uh, which you can see by clicking over here go to packages okay on the, on the right of the R studio so you can see this command uh, you can see this heading packages go all the way to the bottom okay and then you can see this pwr package click on that package and then you can see for different examples so this is uh, this is the section where you can click and then you can see the different examples for example pwr t test so i use this command okay click on that and then you can see different examples here you can see examples okay so here uh, i calculate the uh, sample size similarly i can also use the um, package to calculate the power by entering the sample size so if i enter the sample size then i will get the power 
if I enter the power um, and other values then I get the sample size so you can simply um, play with this formula okay so for details you can go to the documentation page okay for that particular package and then you can see the examples so you can see like one sample power and then pair samples calculation of power and then also the calculation of sample size so there are, there are several examples that you can see um, in the documentation so in this way you can calculate sample size using R okay so hope you like this video if you think that this video is useful uh, please share it with your colleagues and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe okay and I'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye cheers